Kowski, nice and loud, here we go. Hi, Wazowski. Hi, Wazowski. Hi, Wazowski. Ah, I did not point, I did not do it. Hi. Hi. Guess what? That concludes the mic check. <laughs> ah, you giggle, we get giggle. We may not have enough power to open the exit doors. <laughs> I can tell we're off to a great start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lab floor. And now, make some noise for your monster of ceremonies, me, Mike Wazowski. Hello, humans! Oh, very good! I'm Mike Wazowski. That's Wazowski with one eye. <laughs> Welcome to the laugh floor. Now, if this is your first time in a monster world, there are a few things you should know. Like if I said, you stink to that guy, it would be a compliment. Yo, welcome, sir. See, now we're at the laughter. So the only one here who might make you scream would be Roz. <laughs> we like to call Roz the face that launched a thousand lunches. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from Roz! <laughs> She's up on the screen, isn't she? Wazowski, you better fill the can this time, or else. Or else what? Or else this. Phew! <laughs> Are you ready for our first act? Yeah! Well, here they are! Say Manawa! Hello, humans! Everyone, this is my brother, Sam. My name is Ella. We are here to tell you a famous story that took place right here at Monsters, Inc., featuring you as the star. Oh, except for that guy. Why's that? He's that guy. Oh, we love that guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Well, this is a tale of two monsters. The first, a big, hairy scarer named Sully. Oh, cool. And, Harry. and nice. his best friend, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Sir, sir, that's Wazowski with one eye. So if you could just give us one eye, that would be awesome. Yeah. Like a pro. They lived in Monstropolis, which was having a power crisis. Ah, everyone say, oh no! Oh. Oh. It was Sully's job to collect screams for power by making scary faces. Oh. It's terrifying. And all the children would scream. Generating power for Monstropolis. Everyone say whoopity doodle doo. Whoopity doodle doo. One day, a little girl wandered into the monster world through an open door. That's right, big bro, and her name was. <laughs> Why are they booing us? <laughs> oh, Sam, that's her name, Boo. Oh. Yeah, she liked to play peekaboo. Ah, oh, oh. she is. Can you play peekaboo? Remember? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Her hands are gigantic. She's totes adorbs, though. Not totes adorbs. Evil scarer Randall. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, ooh, nice. Sir, sir, but R Randall was invisible, so if you could somehow disappear, that would be totally. <laughs> Good. He's evil. He captured Boo, Trap, Mike, and Sully in the human world. This sent Sully into a tizzy. Go cry, cry. <laughs> He's climbing an invisible ladder. Yes. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> just a bad mime. Who <laughs> knew all this time? Is there such you go. Go. You're boring me. She loves mimes. Wrap it up. Da, finish uh, story, uh, uh, Sully went to a nearby village through a closet door back in the monster world to get Boo back home. Randall chased him on a roller coaster right through the door of all Boo to get a Randall. Mike exposed one and loose. They all discovered that laughter was ten times more powerful than screams. Give it up, give it up, big brother, and this amazing human cast. We're talking about that invisible Randall, adorable Boo. Big hug.
He's my buddy. He's your buddy. He's Buddy Boyle. Hello, humans. <laughs> ah, I taught you well. Even that guy. <laughs> well, I am still Buddy Boyle, and I got the power to read minds. That's right. I am telepathetic. <laughs> so raise your hand if you have a mind. Oh, the powers are pulling me to you, lady. I'm going to you, nice lady. What is your name? Ariel. Correct. <laughs> that is just one example of my telepathetic powers. Ariel, where are you from? Konnichiwa. <laughs> Who are you here today with, Ariel? My boyfriend. Hi, my boyfriend. <laughs> what is your name, my boyfriend? Vincent. Vincent, how long have you and Ariel been dating? A little over two years. So you're ready with the ring tonight and everything. <laughs> I, I have to talk, it's a show. <laughs> so, Ariel, how did you and Vincent first meet? Um, in college. Oh, what college? Just a small college in Michigan. You don't remember its name? <laughs> Boy, that's a small college. So small it couldn't even afford a name. <laughs> yeah. I bet you, on weekends, you didn't go to the mall. You, it was so small it was the m. <laughs> so what were you studying in college, Ariel? Just general ed. General ed? <laughs> I, I didn't know he was a general. <laughs> I'm glad he got the promotion. <laughs> Vincent, what were you studying in college other than Ariel? Uh, uh, broadcast journalism. Oh, broadcast. So you would take Ariel and you'd fling her. No, not necessarily, no. You would take some other female and throw her. No. You didn't do so good in school, did you? A round of applause for Ariel and Vincent! Think of a number between 1 and 50. Are you thinking of that number, Ariel? Yes. Tell everybody the number. I will close my eyes so that I cannot hear you. 13. Okay, Ariel. Beam me the number with the power of your mind. Vincent, take your fingers. Make antennas on Ariel's head. That'll boost her brain signal. It's working. Your number's 13. <laughs> Why did you do that? He got it right! Oops, my finger slipped. Well, well look at that, Roz. The can's half full. Looks half empty to me. Face it, Wazowski, you'll never fill that can. Oh, yes, we will. Right, guys? Yeah. Just fill the can. But remember, I'm watching. Always watching. I'm watching, always watching. I'm Roz, and I've got a mold on my... I can still hear you. Oh, the ladies and gentlemen, performing the jokes you just sent in, my nephew, Marty Wazowski! from New Orleans, and Daniel says, where does a general keep his armies? Everyone say, where? Where? Yeah. In his sleeves! <laughs> Here's another one, Tom from Warren. Tom Warren from Cherry Hill, New Jersey says, where does spaghetti and sauce go to party? Everyone say, where? Where? To a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> and we got another one from Lexi from Mrs. 
Mississippi and Lexi says, how does NASA organize a party? Everyone say how. How? They plan it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the jokes are awesome. You know what though, so are human kids. I want to talk to one. Raise your hand if you're a human kid and you want to talk to me. Don't be shy. Put them up high in the sky. Wave them around so the needleman can find you. Okay, needleman, we have a human kid over on this side of the house. Has her hand up in the air near the front. Hi. Hi, I'm Marty Wazowski. What's your name? Sienna. Hi, Sienna. Everyone say hello, Sienna. Hi, Sienna. How old are you? I'm eight. Eight? Awesome. Hey, Sienna, I have a question for you. Do you have a favorite letter of the alphabet? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, I think it was Z. Ooh, know. the letter Z. That's a good one. This guy really likes the letter I. <laughs> <laughs> Put on a shirt. Now he's smelling the lady's shoulder. Oh, wait. Oh, she's got one, too. Nice. So, Sienna, can I, I need to ask you a question about the human world. Um, I'm confused about something. Um, if you are a human and you're riding in a car, you have to wear a seatbelt, right? Yes. Okay, right. So, if you're not in a car, do you still wear a seatbelt? Uh, no. No, okay, that's what I thought. But then, how do you explain this? <laughs> I know, it's confusing. So, hey, hey, I got a really good question for you, though. What are you going to be when you grow up? haven't decided. No, it's okay. You don't have to make any permanent life decisions right now. It's just curious. A ballerina. A ballerina. Awesome. It's probably hard to decide, though. I get it, because there's tons of cool jobs. Hey, what about becoming an international spy? <laughs> That'd be a cool job, yeah? Yeah? You could impersonate a blueberry. <laughs> That'd be a cool job. You know, when I grew up, I'm going to Monster University, but do you know what I if I was a human? What? That guy! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome! Thanks, Petey Greg. You're on the check a lot of Let's get the little guy a big hand. Wasn't he great? Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that! We did it! We still the can! Way to go! <laughs> what do you think of that, Ross? Well, I guess I have to promote the one responsible. Oh, yeah, what's my new title? Not you, Wazowski. That guy. <laughs> Give him a big hand.